Now, as it's approaching 2014, that's where this stops. As you know, what we just showed is today it's up about 408. So now it's showing back in time. This is the, the Mauna Loa, same Hawaii station, going back in time all the way back to 1958, where we started recording atmospheric CO2 directly. If you want to go back before 1958, then you need to start going into ice cores. And so that's going to shoot back real fast. There's the Law Dome ice core, and that'll go back to something like a few thousand years. And then they'll drill some different ice cores, like the simple ice core. So here's kind of the pre-industrial average, was around 280. Now we'll go to some more ice cores. There's the Vostok ice core. And that one should take us back, up, I think, something like 300,000 years. Shoots back up. And this is as they're drilling, just like we talked about in fossils, the lower, the deeper in the ice you're going, the older snow you're getting to, and the bubbles there tell you how much CO2 is in the atmosphere at the time. Then you have to switch over to the Epica ice core, which is a three kilometer long ice core in Antarctica. So there's the history of CO2 for 800,000 years. <laughs> yeah, whoa. There's what it looks like. Just to orient you a bit, when we talk about ice ages, there wasn't just one ice age, just like the movie, there are a bunch of them. <laughs> Every time it dips down, these are ice ages. All these moments between are called interglacials, between when there were glaciers. So those are ice ages at around 180 parts per million CO2. Interglacials, the warm periods, at about 280 parts per million CO2. So CO2 is changing like crazy. This last spike, that rise, that it's hard to even show on a graph, because when this represents 800,000 years, how are you supposed to show that that spike happened in something like 70 years. It's just hard to show. So we have handouts for you. And the handouts are a bit of how do we deal with this? What are the effects of increased CO2? How does that affect temperature on Earth? And how will that affect us in Seattle, in Washington, in the United States? <laughs>